When last we met, I was telling you about my Doctor Who TARDIS keyboard. It's actually from a utility power plant. It was manufactured by Empro Systems International for the National Grid Utility Company. I have an appreciation for historic computers and historic computing, and that retro kind of aesthetic is interesting to me. I also write a lot of computer code. Regular keyboards aren't very good for writing code. Back in the old days, they used to have what are called Lisp machines, computers specifically for the Lisp programming language. They manufactured special keyboards for these machines that had symbols on them for the APL programming language and Greek letters and other symbols that programmers and mathematicians would want to use. This keyboard is for a utility power plant operator. What I'd like to do is be able to use this keyboard on my computer, but this is not your standard keyboard. You can't just plug this into a USB port. It doesn't have a USB connection. What kind of connection does it have? Can I plug it into my computer somehow? If so, how do I figure this out? Then the connectors, I have to open it up because I have these guys here. I'm not sure which one does what. This 50 pin connector right here. This is a, a nine pin connector and uh, that's typically used for serial communication. Um, these two guys, I don't know. Those are, those are just, they're dip switches. Uh, and I have no idea what they mean. Let's open this up. Well, these are actually nuts and bolts. I didn't expect that, nuts and bolts. But looks like this panel is only held on by a few screws. Oh, well, we have some hex bolts. Three hex bolts right there. That is the patina of age. In addition to the stickers on the back of the keyboard documenting the history of service the device has received, it was obvious from the hardware that someone had already been inside of this. Yes, there we go. And I think I want to pull it this way because you see these ribbon cables on the inside. Well, you can't see them. I can see them. These ribbon cables on the inside here attached this direction. Yeah, whoa. Okay, look at that PCB right there. That's nice. Wow. Of course, the PCB just uh, relays the signal from the switches to the uh, to the main logic board. These are 50-pin connectors right here. Pretty standard stuff, what you're seeing here. Over on this side, let's see what we can learn from this thing over here. This is a Z80 CPU in here is powering this board. So this, this keyboard itself is its own sort of mini computer. We have some other other ICs that I'm not familiar with, I can Google them. Uh, I find it interesting that some of these are socketed and some of them aren't, uh, suggesting that maybe there's multiple different models of this thing. We have maybe another spot for another one of these connectors for a different model. This here has a part number that's been written on by hand, uh, this, this speaker unit. What I really want to know though now is how do I talk to this thing? And I think this Either one of these, I think, is going to be the key, and I'm not sure which, actually. I asked to study this for a bit. 